Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm your host, 9US11, and this is GTA 5, How to Do What MC Businesses Motorcycle Club. Right now, I'm in my motorcycle club. As you can tell, I have my security guard right there, Chilaxi. He's just making sure nobody messes around with the place. Anyways, right now I have my employees just sitting down because everything is maxed out. I have it all businesses. I upgraded the business workers, basically. Here's my... Guys, get back to work. What are you guys doing? What? Get back to... Oh my gosh, yes, coronavirus. She's coughing. Anyways, we have here Lopita. Stop texting your boyfriend. Don't worry. He's not sleeping with your cousin. Relax. Anyways, point taken. Here's a counterfeit cash. This is the how to do sales, and I will show you what to do. I will do them solo myself. Um, if you have two people minimum, you could do these. If you have three people, even better. If you have multiple businesses, because there are five of them. First one, obviously, is counterfeit money, cash, which I'm in right now. Second one is cocaine, if you like cocaine. Third one is meth. The business fourth one is weed you know the weed business which i that's actually i did that earlier and i showed you in my previous videos and the last one is forgery fake ids so again the main approaches for all these are five different type of drops one trash trucks actually i did one of my video two motorcycles three airplanes so there's three planes Four, there's helicopters, and five is the ops van, which is the most difficult because you need at least three people for that. Two, one person, I could do two ops van by myself with 30 minutes, but I will lose money. But that's what I get. The grind is real. That's my model. There's a reason why I say that. Now, in doing these sales, again, you if you have an oppressor, it actually is much beneficial for you to go from point A to point B. It's actually better for you to do that because the speed is the best versus you driving. So let's see right here. Hopefully, I don't have to get off. And if I do, obviously, I'm going to lose a third. I'm doing these solo for myself. And I'm fortunate right now because there's nobody in this lobby. If you do it in a crowded lobby, make sure you have your friends with you. If you do um, these sales solo, make sure it's the most least of the product that you have and you can get one percent for every person which is maximum 25 so okay let's get started click on this resupply it's on its way and i'm going to send it sell this at in los santos which is actually better for me at two hundred and ninety four thousand dollars. that's the more most payout more beneficial for me so I'm going to click on that bad boy and let's see what happens. Click. Oops, oops, oops. Click, click, click. There we go. Confirm. There we go. Now in doing these, like I said, there's five different types of vehicles that you can go sell. The worst one is the ops van if it happens, but I could try to sell both of them at the same time. Alright, All LJT, I'm going by seaplane. Now, again, if you have the oppressor, that's the best thing to do with the oppressor. And it actually is more beneficial when you do have the oppressor, you can go from point A to point B. Actually, I just shut off my fan right now. If it was loud, I apologize. Anyways, this is the best thing when you do it um, solo sales. The grind is real. People can. If they tell you, how did I do this? Listen, the grind's real. If you want, what do you want to do? What do you want to achieve? If you have that, you want to have that flex. Right now, I've been doing some uh, special cargoes and stuff. So the flex is real for me. I'm fortunate that I am in a solo lobby right now. I got very lucky. I guess nobody's playing GTA. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, so what's the purpose? If you want to buy something, you know it's good to have the money to get whatever you want now this is the best part this is some information sometimes these vehicles one of them usually burns out sometimes it burns out. i usually let me retract that statement one usually does happen that's how the game likes to mess with you and don't get upset like right now i have 15 out of uh zero out of 15. me looking at the map i'm looking at the location where i'm going to fly so i have all five yellow dots you always want to get a flight pattern and how to do things. That's the most important thing. 
And in doing your flight pattern, you have to keep track of what, how, and what you fly. The location, the destination. Now, in doing this, I love the plane. Remember, you can't really mess around. But, I mean, I can mess around because it's my shipment. But if you're going to do somebody else's shipment, you have to take everything serious. So, you know what I mean? Because people get upset if you start doing flips and barrel rolls. And then you crash. And then if you do happen to have a mishap, then you need the dashboard ASAP. You would lose about $21,000 in the whole thing. But it's better than losing a big, giant chunk. Now, I usually break up all three planes into 10-minute periods. Like right now, I have seven minutes and 30 seconds exactly now to get to the location and have this thing completed. Again, I break them up into 10 minutes. There's three planes and I have 30 minutes to do it. So right now, I'm about 7, 18. I'm actually doing pretty good. If you have a pressure, the oppressor is a good thing to fly back with. It's speed and everything. You can fly back with these planes, but remember, warning. The time that it takes you to get to that location, it also takes time to get back. These are much slower compared to the oppressor. Mark II. Um, the way you could actually see the whole... Your marker, obviously, it's a red smoke. I'm doing a first-person view on what it looks like. I love these dodo planes because they're basically, if you do mess up, you could actually land on the water if you're not paying attention and you will not lose your product because the plane basically floats. Now, always go up to what? The yellow circle that's indicated in the left bottom left corner of the map. And I'm going to a sailboat. It looks like I'm fire. And it tells me to drop right on the D-pad. And this is, by the way, is for Xbox Live, just to let you know. And this is how you do basically the drops. I have about, what, 1 of 15, and I have 4 more that I'm carrying in this plane, and I have 26 and, 10, and 26, slightly over 26 minutes to do this. So I have more than enough time. Guys, remember the motto, the grind is real? I always say it. Everything that I've earned, I earned legit. About $269,992,464. This, I've actually had the game about 6 going on 7 months. And what I loved about the game, every time I grinded, I bought things. Grinded, I bought things. So far now, I'm at a place that I am not going to buy stuff until they get on sale. And you know what? Like the B11 Thunderbird is on sale right now. It's actually, actually a very good price, 2.2 million. A thousand. I suggest if you don't have that, get that for your arsenal. And those guns are like crazy when they fire. Oh, man. I love that sound. I'm doing a bad um impersonation of it but man that those guns are crazy in real life the b11 versus in real life it's the a10 warthog but they call this in the game because of copyright the b11 thunderbird is it thunderbird i might be saying it wrong excuse me but i call it the b11 anyways oh man every time i hear warthog i always think of the of the a previous game that does have a vehicle with a turret turret gun in the back the warthog I don't want to really mention other names, but, you know, it's really cool. This game, GTA 5, has a, a, a homage to a beautiful game that a, um, one affiliation of 117. <laughs> I'm just going to give the designation number that it has. It's the coolest thing. I don't know if it's making fun or it's a homage to the other games, but we see. Anyways, right now I'm four out of five. And you have to be flying very low. If you fly too high, the cops will get you. That's the thing. Like, see, right now I'm going to fly high. It's going to give me an alert. I'm not. See? See? Cops can detect my the alert right now. So I'm going to try to fly low where they cannot see me as low as possible. And usually about, it's about the way it looks, like 50 feet above in the air. Right now I got 5 out of 15. And it's not bad, about 23 minutes and 56 seconds. So that thing took took me about four minutes to do. What I like to do, for me personally, I like to use my aircraft. Um, I usually will dispose of it right away over a populated area, which is not a, not a smart thing to do. But these are just computer graphics, and it's okay. I'm going to get off, and I want to call my oppressor out right now. Get my parachute, and voila. A little quick drop. And that's how we do it. Oh, funny, this is my import-export, how I source my vehicles. That's my garage right there, where the two, two doors are and stuff. 
If you guys like importing and exporting, that's the thing to do for the cars. Sourcing cars are the best. Well, that's a fancy word saying I'm stealing cars, but whatever. Anyways, right now I'm flying with my presser. I got about a little over 23 minutes to go, and I have two vehicles, two planes, the delivery. So each plane carries five. Five plus five is ten. Ten plus five is a total of 15 deliveries made, and I can get paid my 294,000. Okay, so right now I'm just flying over. I'm fortunate right now that there's nobody actually in this lobby. I'm the only one in here. So I'm just taking advantage of the fact that I can do it. If you do decide to sell in a crowded lobby, you have to have a, definitely a crew with you. I suggest, I'm not even exaggerating, five people or more It would be awesome. In your MCs, you could have about, I think, about six people or seven people. That's It's a great number. I'll assume, let's say, eight until I'm proven wrong. I'm assuming that, but, I, but I've, the most I've ever had was about seven. Anyways, within that MC, that crew, you can get paid each member about $30,000 for helping out. And in doing that, if somebody needs money and they do help you out, it's important that they know how to fly certain vehicles. If they don't know how to do it, then you have to do it themselves. And they got to practice with what? They got to practice in the whole GTA 5 genre. They have an assortment of vehicles. You can go to the airports. One in the Sandy Shores, they have that one. And then the other one, they have it in um, the Los Santos, Fort Zancudo Air Base, the military base. Like here right now, I have a Sandy Shore or something. They have these small Cessna planes, these small little one engine. That's a good way to practice. There's always one on a tarmac. Since I'm doing the mission right now, there's nothing. Oh, there, well, there's a jet right here, and there's a helicopter. That's the best way is to grab those vehicles and practice, and that's how you do it, you know? So anyways, I'm just flying away. A little first-person view right here. Now we're actually frontal. Let's do this. Now, like again, once you get to the plane, I have an oppressor is the best 20, a little over slightly under 21 minutes. I was breaking up in the tents. Second plane, I got 10 minutes to complete the whole drop offs. Now I have five yellow dots. What I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the map. I want to make sure what it is. Ah, see this little thing? People always seem to make this mistake. I'm going to mark it. And that mark right there tells me where that location is. What I'm going to do first and foremost, you could do this, either fly to the ocean first and then work your way in. I usually do the opposite and I fly to that purple mark first and then work my way out. And that's what I do. It's important. Some people, you have to look on the map if you're going to do something. That's the most important thing. The flight control for inside. Actually, you can see what's going on. It's important when you go in this route, you could have what? a beautiful power pole right in front of your face so learn the map what you do how to do it it's important so that way you don't crash into things um the best way to avoid you can see like the 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 run farm wind farms or something there's two windmills are actually off or three that's another way of more direct if you want to do the most daring and go in between these guys you could because Basically, it's just telling me the path of where to fly. It's almost a straight line, kind of, well, slightly crooked, to get to where I want to do. And you can tell the power poles where they are. Oh, man, they're lit up. You have to always know your surroundings in doing this. So let's see what happens here. So I'm going to that plane that's on fire. What I do, because I have time, I took off the net, the little uh, GPS point, and voila. For speed, I do it, so I don't have to do it later. I dropped off the first one, and I'm going to go slightly back. That way, it's all ocean work. This is where I like to do. It's easier for me. Now, if you guys want to follow me, I have my Twitch account. It's IX underscore US underscore XI. And I also have my YouTube account. It's IX 
space us space xi you can see it on the top left top left corner of the map that i have it and yeah it'll be a 409 eventually oh if i'm 408 i'll be 409 409 reminds me of the cleaner so anyways i hope everybody's staying safe for that coronavirus this in-home quarantine and stuff guys i have about 2300 subscribers and i have a goal if i once i get to i think 3000 i want to actually create a contest what do you guys think send me a feedback leave a comment so you can understand what do you guys need i would like to give back to the xbox live community i was thinking about doing maybe headsets because seeing people seem to be breaking their headsets and i'm talking about the good ones the turtle beach um roughly they're about 60 bucks a pair i have a i have the turtle beach the 600s the wireless those are pretty legit and i was thinking about getting actually try to get maybe three of those mm, could be four depending on the popularity i just want to hear feedback from you guys just to say thank you for subscribing to my channel and if you haven't hit that notification bell subscribe and i actually have a special contest for people that do play gta 5 on xbox live i do the casino heist if you guys like the casino heist all prep work done i've experienced crew members and i give you the max payout it ranges between 55 percent to as high as 85 percent now depending on the approach the approach could be silent sneaky the big con or aggressive and depending on the target the target is basically what it is like cash gold paintings and the illustrious diamonds right now gta 5 will not bring out the diamonds i just happened to mention because it has been done but in doing that, the diamonds, they're going to bring out one special. Like, I remember they brought it out last time for Valentine's Day. So it was kind of legit. If I, you guys know what you're doing, like, say, fingerprints, I can go in with two people and say I have paintings and you know how to do the double fingerprints because I usually like doing it on hard mode. But depending on the approach, again, what I have, I have actually had max with two people 85%. So with the Elite Challenge, example i've had it as high as 1.5 million dollars so who wants a little extra cash i mean seriously instant and you could get that in less than 15 minutes like i said i try to get the elite challenge always now if you do it with, with my crew members depending on, like say cash i need minimum at least three people to do it if it's gold that's pretty heavy usually four and those are the percentage would actually go down roughly about 55 percent or 60 percent depending i get the most minimum of 15 like I said, I don't do it for me. I do it for my people that subscribe to the channel and saying thank you. I did have one. I will about to actually I did have one the other day and I will post that later on soon. I'm going to have a separate category in saying uh, GTA 5 Casino Heist Finale winners. I love picking them. I usually would pick them out on Thursday night or Wednesday. And believe me, there's plenty of you. I have right now about 2,305 that subscribe to the channel. I'd like to say thank you so much. Really? And I'm having a field day. Some of them, they really don't want me to post. I respect your privacy if you don't want me to televise. I'll pick the winners. I've had pick, I have had done Casino Heist, and they didn't want me to televise their um, who they are, which I respect your privacy. Usually it's up to you if you're interested. You know? Until you tell me otherwise. So, yeah. Let me just go fly away. Right now I have my last drop on my second plane, which I have 14 minutes and 25 seconds. Like I said, I break down each plane about 10 minutes apiece. Right now, one drop and less than slightly over. I'll just break down, not the 10 minute, but just say four minutes, 15 seconds. I am in perfect time. If I can go within, before I hit 10 minutes to the other plane, then I've done very well. What does that mean? That means I'm doing everything solo sales. If I had three people helping me, that whole thing would actually be done in like in 10 minutes. So imagine having three planes, three friends, boom, next job, boom, next job, boom, next job. Now, if I had um, all my friends right now, I guess I'm the only one here, but that's why the grind is real and they're wondering, why do you do it? Well, because I like the grind. It's like a sense that I could do stuff. I like doing this. You know, if you wanna buy some cool things, Guess what? You can buy that. Even the, see this yacht to my left. I own that. And from what? Doing these sales. The motorcycle club sales. That's actually my famous yacht. I call her. The name is EDBTZ. <laughs> Again, that's the name. That's an abbreviation. EDBTZ. 
that yacht right there, so it's the best. Anyways, right now I have uh, 10 out of 15. I got three minutes and nine seconds to go. What I'm gonna do, I could probably fly over there if I chose to. I have my boy Dragus just joined right now. He's gonna probably wanna send me an invite to play. And voila. I'm just gonna go get my oppressor out right now. Oopa. And that's what I need. Oppressor for speed. All right. Who are you, oppressor? Oh, there you are. Perfect. And voila, I'm flying to my final destination. Cops, I got a one star. I don't really need to call Lester or anything. I just avoid the cops and then they give up. And then basically I can go fly my other plane. Oh, there's a cop right there to the right. This is my thing, just gotta... I avoid them not to destroy them because then the, it goes from one star, two star, and etc. It takes longer for it to dissipate. He's wanted. So like I said, one star I'm wanted is not that much. Just keep on avoiding the cops. Don't fly to them. And that's the best thing in the world is what I can actually continue with the mission. Now look at it as say 1155, but I break it down minus a 10. I got a minute and 50 seconds to get right now to the airplane. What? That's the Dodo. It's really a Cessna, but you know, that's how I time it. If I have you have an oppressor, it's the best investment in the world in getting these oppressors. Why? These oppressor gets you to point A to point B really fast. If you drive, it sucks, but you can get there. If you have a buzzard, that's actually the second best thing for speed wise. That's the best way to get from one point of the map to the other. A buzzard, that's even better, actually. So yeah, you can fight your way in case stuff happens. And here we go, the, the wanted level is over, and voila, I got to the third and final plane with what slightly over a minute right now. Now this is what I call 11.05. Now, 11 minutes. So I'm gonna jot down, I'm gonna do my, at 11 minutes, trying to jot down my trajectories, where I'm gonna go, and I'm gonna see throughout the map. And it's telling me that it's in the end. So I'm actually gonna do an opposite. I'm gonna fly to the right. I could do that, or I could fly to the middle, easily. Anyways, in doing that, me flying, I shall, what? drop it off so I have roughly about 10 minutes and 37 seconds guys it's an easy work the grind is real and after with this payout is 294,000 with my buddy in there drag is three he's the one that actually helps out doing the casino heist he's legit and actually will get a 1% bonus so I'll get roughly about from 194 thousand 200 excuse me retract 294,000 I'll get to 299,800 that's 1% of that Give or take. Now, the more people max in the lobby, it'll pay out 25% total max. So, yeah. Um, example, like cocaine. I love cocaine. Well, just for the sales, guys. Don't do drugs. Just only to get sales. If you, It costs 420000 say, max. If you have 25% of that, that's $540,000. So, imagine doing this right here, having 25%. You could actually get about three, well, whatever the math is. Two two ninety four at twenty five percent. Say three hundred thousand. So right there, roughly, it's about sixty thousand dollars over. I'm rough. I'm just doing a rough estimate right there. Now at twenty five percent, so that's actually not bad. Well, six. It'll be more than sixty five. So it'll be about seventy five thousand bonus. So yeah, for so two ninety four and add seventy five thousand above that. So you're close to yeah about seventy five thousand. So you'd be three hundred. And 40 ish, 40,000 ish. Actually, you know, sorry, that's a lot off with the math. About 360 ish. The point is that the more people, the better. If you do solo sales, you have to have a crew with you because people, there's some people out there who want you to succeed. I call those griefers. And if you do get shot down, guess what? You might as well just leave. You'll lose about 21,000 of product. And the best part, you won't lose everything. But if you let it linger, then you really lost it. As soon as you get hit, you got a dashboard. Dashboard, try to load up a different game. Like for my whole criteria that I have it, I have like a, a backup is a Halo 5 for my backup game. If you have any type of game, you can load it. Like I said, you dashboard. That's how some people, um, to save your product, and it'll be roughly you lose 21,000, but you can come back and get it later. 
Oh, there's my boy Dragus's yacht right there. That's one, one thing for sure. I have it set for friends. And you won't get shot down. <laughs> you don't want to get shot down at all. See, right now I'm going the opposite angle. I didn't want to go through the city. Because I got, got bored. And I figured this is actually the best way. Because they're close together. I actually did the navigation ahead of time. And I saw where the locations were. As you can tell, I did two of them really quickly. Within what? Not even 30 seconds. I'm about to do three of them within what? 30 seconds fast. Less than 30 seconds. So the speed on this was actually immense. Trying to get here took most of the time, but drop off was now, let's just say about under 45 seconds. See like doing this right now, having four drops probably took about gonna be slightly over a minute. That's not bad at all. I remember I break them up in three planes, at 30 minutes at 10 minutes a piece so i have more than enough, sufficient time for me to do this one more plane you know it's the best thing never fool around with your friends uh stuff because you don't want them to crash and they'll get all upset but if when it's your own stuff you could do whatever flips and barrels and stuff <laughs> i actually had my my buddy he just introduced him to gta 5 and i got him to fly in this plane and he was screaming ah <laughs> it was hilarious I'll post it in one of my videos so you guys can check it out. Well, guys, we're almost end of my journey right here. I'd like to say thank you for watching right now. i like to all those that leaves a positive comment for me. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you want to sign up to my channel in YouTube, is the gamer tag. Um, my, not just an Xbox Live, my gamer tag. You can leave me a message, but also my YouTube channel is IX space US space XI. And my Twitch account, if you want to follow, go for it. I have a small number, about maybe 328 people are following me. It's growing, not bad for a bit of a month. So that's IX underscore US underscore XI. Again, IX underscore US underscore XI. And let me do the final drop right here. Booyah. And sold. Counted for money at 296,000, excuse me, 940 because of my boy right here, that 1%. See, instead of 294, I got an extra bonus of 2,940. Now, in doing this, you make sure you always got to disband right away. If not, you get raided for your MC. So I have it ready to go. When it tells me, I hear the sound, I click on it right away. Boom, I heard that little sound, click, click, and voila. Well, guys, I want to say, wee, do a little barrel. I want to say thank you for everybody that's watching. And remember my motto, the grind is real. Oh yeah. Guys, again, thank you so much for watching. And again, remember the motto, the grind is real. And have a great day, everybody. And I hope you be successful in your sales.